Hey, so good to see you again. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing very well. I want to start out by saying, obviously, so much of this movie is about the power of positive thinking. It's about asking and believing and receiving. And I'm curious, you've had so many incredible roles throughout your career. What is a role that you landed in, in for no better way to say other than like through the power of positive thinking? You asked for it, you believed in it, and you received it. Well, I what I loved about this script, I mean, obviously, I was a fan of the book and of Rhonda, um, and I think they did a wonderful job adapting a story to this uh, feeling of thinking positively. And, you know, the character who I play, Miranda, um, is really struggling. She's a single mom with three kids, and she just feels like she can't get a break. And um, so I felt like it was um, a really fun character to play and, and a real... Uh, She's very grounded and the power of positivity really, you know, helped her life. For sure. Um, you know, obviously I know the book helped a lot of people's lives. I think it's like 34 million copies of the book sold. And I'm sort of curious, when you play a character that sort of learns life lessons, do those life lessons transfer over? Do you in turn then also learn those life lessons as well? Well, I think that, um, you know, the book really speaks for itself and, and it has had such tremendous influence on so many people and has been very helpful to people. Um, and again, I think the challenge with creating a story that um, was in keeping with this, this book um, was really exemplifying those lessons and having these characters go through things to really show, you know, how it was useful to them. Um, and I felt like, just the, you know, it's always challenging for me to take on any role. So I kind of get consumed into the character and, and I really just um, put myself in, in that person's shoes the whole time. Well, obviously uh, I'm chatting with you uh, from here in Chicago and we love you in Chicago. And this summer was actually the 15th anniversary of the release of Batman Begins, which I think is just an absolute masterpiece. And I love you in it. I'm sort of curious, what are your memories of, of shooting that film uh, in the city? Did you have a good time while you were here? I love Chicago. I'm uh, from Toledo, Ohio. Um, so Chicago is always like a great city. Uh, growing up, I loved to visit Chicago and, and, and everything. And so shooting Batman there was very exciting. Um, you know, we shot in the summertime. I think I took in some Cubs games and uh, it, was, it was great. And I loved uh, making that film and working with Chris Nolan. It, it holds up really. I actually just rewatched uh, the trilogy this summer and it holds up so well. It's fantastic. Um, and, you know, so much like we were saying earlier, so much of this uh, movie is about, you know, really wanting something and then through positivity, making it happy. And so I, I thought we could have like a fun challenge. You and I get to chat like every few years or so. So, so I was wondering, like, what is something that, that you really want in life right now that you really want to try to make happen through positivity? And then I would next time we chat, whether it's, you know, next month or a couple of years, I would try to follow up and see if you ended up making that happen. Well, seeing as though you're from Chicago, I think I'd like some Garrett's popcorn. I, want it right I can now. make that happen. And I know you can make it happen. I can make that happen. I absolutely will make that happen. Okay, well, your people need to get in touch with me and I will, I promise you, I will make that happen. Okay. Excellent. Can I give a shout out to, can I give a shout out to some family? Absolutely, please shout it out. We'll put it on the air. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to say hi to my uh, cousin Peggy and, um, and my friend Connie. And I love everyone in Chicago. <laughs> I've never had anyone ask me for a shout out, but usually I'm the one that's asking celebrities like, hey, can I get a shout out? For I've never had anyone ask me. That's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> Katie, you're seriously oh. the best. I always love chatting with you. And seriously, thank you so much for your time and hope you and your family are doing well. Thank you. You too. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Josh, how are you, sir? Good to see you, man. I'm great, Jake. How you doing? Nice to see you doing too. Doing very well. Thank you. Um, you know, so much of this movie is about the power of positive thinking and it's about asking and believing and receiving. And, and you have obtained so many incredible roles throughout your career. I'm wondering which one do you think you most maybe used that line of thinking for that, you know, power of positive thinking and the asking and believing and receiving, which one yielded uh, the, the coolest role of your career? Well, without a doubt, I think it would be Glory Road. You know, Glory Road is a movie that I absolutely love about, you know, the 1966 basketball team and and this coach, Don Haskins. And it kind of came out of a, you know, the, the thing about the secret is, or, or the thing about positive thinking or the power of um, the law of attraction is that things can be miraculous that way when you are asking for, I think, and, and also being very specific in your life about what you want. And there's been a couple of movies in particular that came 
kind of miraculously, but in my head, I was being, I was very clear in terms of what I was looking for. I'm interested a lot in, in this movie, but also in this idea because I've seen how it works for people, um, not just for themselves. Like my grandfather was a man who like, just, he was a happy guy. And to be honest with you, he didn't have a lot of reasons to be happy. He was pretty poor. His life was quite hard, always had been, but he just chose to always look at the good. Um, and, you know, he counseled the dying his whole life. He, he just always did things to help people and it made him feel good. And if you ever asked him, he would never say, you know, and this, he went through the war, he did so many different things in his life. He, he would never say anything negative. And I, I always remember being struck by that. And I think he particularly is the clearest relationship I have to this character. Um, and I definitely, you know, I, I see it work for people. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. And not just for themselves. I see it work for the people that they're around too, you know? Yeah. If, if, yeah. I, I love hearing that. And also, I do want to say The Glory Road is a masterpiece and one of the greatest sports movies of all time. It's absolutely fantastic. I love that film. Really? It's so good. Um, you know, in thinking about that, think about the idea of positive uh, thinking. I, I kind of wanted to have like present a fun challenge. You know, I, I've never spoken with you before, but I hope that this isn't the last time. So I was wondering, what is something that you want right now that you would put positive thinking towards that the next time I interview you, I could follow up and say like, hey, man, did it work out? Did you put forth the positive thinking? Did it happen? You know, that the, the dark troubling elements of particularly coronavirus but our our particular our, our particular um political chaos that we're in that the next time we speak probably middle of next year when i have another movie coming out that we will be through it and that things will begin to be returning to normal and that there will be a a sigh of relief and and joy collectively from you know not just the american people but humanity <laughs> i like that one. that's a good one yeah, it's a big one. <laughs> hey, Katie uh, said I, I, Garrett's I, I, popcorn from Chicago, and you, <laughs> you, you want the world to be changed. That's wanted, awesome. My mother would always say, what do you want for your birthday? And she would say, world peace. <laughs> <laughs> but if you so, start there, then I'm everything going. else, you just, I, then you just scale it back. And really quick, I know we're on the wrap. I do want to ask, you were one of those actors who, whenever I told people that I was going to interview you, every person that I told brought up a different, oh, you got to ask him about this. And that, that's a testament to your incredible career. I'm curious, when people come up to you on the street, what is the movie that most people want to talk to you about? You know, I mean, honestly, mostly it's it's Sweet Home Alabama, which is one of the reasons I was very happy to work again with Andy Tennant, the director of this movie and that movie. Um, but, you know, it's what I really like as well is that oftentimes because people, they want to reference a, a sort of rare movie, you know, like a movie like Session 9, which is just a fantastic Yes. Little, yes you know, intense weird horror movie that we made for yeah. no money a million years ago or the other day someone came up to me and you know quoted stealth to me which i was surprised about or like <laughs> so it's funny and, and i i really yeah. that's a great joy when when it particularly when it's a movie one of my all-time favorite movies which not a lot of americans saw is a movie called red dog in australia and true story mm -hmm. about a dog in australia that's just a really beautiful movie and so it sometimes depends on where I am in the world, which is pretty cool too. So. That's cool. Well, I know I keep geeking out with you, but Session 9 genuinely is a masterpiece. And as is Glory Road, but seriously, I, I've always wanted to chat with you, man. I'm a big fan and hopefully this isn't the last time. And I'm absolutely going to follow up next time we chat next year and, and hopefully everything you wished for comes true, sir. Yeah, well, at least Thank someone. you. All right. Bye, guys. Take care. Thanks, Jake. Bye. Jerry, how are you, sir? Jake, what's up, man? I'm so sorry about my internet right now. You know, The Secret Dare to Dream was supposed to come out in April. We just found out that it's going to be available, video demand. You can download it anywhere. But we found out just a couple of weeks ago, and I booked a camping trip with my family, as you could see. So I'm stealing my neighbor's Wi-Fi right now to do this interview with you. Well, I think it's awesome that you're even doing the interview. And I did also just wanted to say we aired the Wendy Williams show on Fox 32 here in Chicago. And you did an amazing job when you filled in for her. I thought you were absolutely fantastic. Um, but I just want to start out by saying, obviously, yeah. so much of this movie is about the power of positive thinking. It's about asking and believing and receiving. And I'm curious, you've had so many different roles over your career. What has been a role that you can attribute to maybe having landed because of that power of positive thinking? Um, it's really funny. You know, um, I was, uh, I mean, I'm an actor. I've been doing it a minute. I had one TV job that I just, I couldn't stand my boss. I just did not like the guy. And I was working with a guy named Boris Kojo, who's another very famous actor. And he was like, Hey man, what, like you, you seem really down. And I was like, I just hate this. I just hate our boss. 
And he said, come to my dressing room. And he gave me a copy of The Secret. And listen, I'm a pretty negative, pessimistic person. It really, it really helped me get through a, a pretty negative time in my life. So when they, uh, when they said they were making the scripted version, I was like, this is so funny. I mean, I guess I, I guess I put it out there, the power, the laws of attraction, the secret laws of attraction. And I knew I'd be part of the scripted version of it. I love that. Well, I've been kind of sort of throwing out a challenge to uh, your co-stars. And I wanted to, to do it uh, with you as well. Um, I was wondering, what is something that you want in life right now that maybe you could achieve through the power of, of positive thinking? And I'm wondering if maybe the next time that I interview you, I'm actually going to remember this. I'm going to save this interview and then follow up to see if you landed it through positive thinking. I want, I want better Wi-Fi here at this campsite. <laughs> I'm going to really like use the power of positive thinking there. And um, I want, uh, uh, what do I want? I want my kids to, I want my kids to have a good time during this whole like quarantine pandemic type, type, type situation. I want to make sure that their experience is a positive one. They're having a lot of fun so far. I had to rent an RV and drive out here and it's, uh, I wasn't very positive throughout that whole experience but uh uh you know what maybe now talking to you yeah you're right using the laws of attraction like the secret works just See, it's already it. working i got you man i got you and and as we wrap up i do want to say i uh i actually grew up loving uh the screen films and i just re-watched the whole the, of all four of them and i loved you i thought you were fan one scream two holds up very well i think it's one of the great horror sequels of all time um i loved you in that film and whenever i told my buddies like oh my god i get to talk to jerry o'connell like scream two and they're like dude what a what a random ass movie to bring up from his career i'm curious like what 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 are the random whenever fans approach you on the street what are the random films that people bring up to you and is that random that i love scream two i would say i would say the weirdest I don't want to say the most annoying thing um, because I am trying to remain as positive as possible in this interview because I am doing publicity for the secret dare to dream, which deals with yeah. positivity and laws of attraction. But it does drive me crazy when people yell at me, fat kid from stand by me. It's still to this day. It makes me, uh, it's like, so like I, I have a name. My name is Jerry. I'm not the fat kid from stand by me. So that, I, like it doesn't make me like violent. I would never go that far, but it is like it is annoying when people say that to me. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really bother me that much. I think it's more like people wanting to say, "I knew you when you were like." It's almost like ribbing you, you know, like like they have one on me, you know. Yeah. Hey, that kid from Stand by Me got you well, good. <laughs> well, now look at um, you, sir. You're on a great vacation with your awesome kids and and you're 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 handsome and you got everything going yeah. for you. And seriously, you're you're a wonderful man. And uh, and hopefully uh, next time we chat, I'm going to follow up to find out how that vacation went. I apologize. I'm not in makeup for this secret dare to dream interview. Um, I apologize about my Wi-Fi as well. Dude, you have nothing to apologize for. I, the fact that you even made the effort to do this interview, I think says a lot about you. And, and that, that's awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for your kind words about, uh, about the show this summer. Yeah, of course, man. You did a great job. I'll talk to you guys soon. Yeah. See ya.